Hello Bluegrass fans, it's opening day at Regency Furniture Stadium. I'm Joe Cross from CCG TV, here to cover everything that's going to happen at opening day. We're going to be talking to the fans, we're going to be talking to some players, we're probably even going to be talking to Brooks Robinson. So let's go on inside and see what's going on. All right, welcome back to the show. Got a real treat for you now. I'm standing here with the group, the Swamp Dogs. They cr uh, created an original song called Crustacean Nation, and they're gonna play it tonight here at the stadium live for everybody. So the leader right here is Cheyenne. And Cheyenne, why don't you introduce everybody in the band? Okay. Over here to my left, we have Mr. Kevin Cross. He's yeah, I know our, him. He's our guy. <laughs> you do know him, yes. don't you? Yeah. And we also have Ed right over here, Ed Emery for y'all. And we have Dave Smith over here, and we have Miss Chris Baker right here for you. Chris has just been with us for a couple of weeks here, and Ed, he's just come on board with us for a couple of months. And uh, Kevin and myself, oh, we've been playing together forever, probably about 12 years, I think it is now. Yeah. And uh, Dave, him and Kevin and myself, we've been playing together in cover bands and uh, assorted projects for probably about the last five years. All right, come on over here. Now, how did uh the concept of Crustacean Nation come to be? Well, the concept from Crustacean Nation, uh, is I think I'm going to have to turn this one over to Mr. Dave. I think he could probably say it better than I could. All He's right. the original writer of the song. Bring him up. Well, let's see. I was here last year for a game, um, and I had such a great time, and, and it looked like everybody in the crowd was having such a great time. I thought, I need to write a song about this. And then I struggled for about six months because I was trying to write a song about baseball yeah. and about team. And it dawned on me, well, I'll just write it about those fans. Mm -hmm. And uh, about 15 minutes after that, it was done. Great. Well, it's, yeah. it's really uh, taking the area by storm. I know they're playing it uh, here. At, they're going to be playing it here at the stadium. Uh, if you go on to the Blue Crabs website and click on Listen Live and go to the archives, they're playing it before the uh, live part of the, uh, the filming. And uh, I'm playing it on my show, which airs on Channel 95 here like in Charles that. County. So yeah. uh, it's definitely getting some airtime. Great. So you're going to be playing here tonight. How long uh, How long a set are y'all going to do? Good. <laughs> We're probably going to be playing for about an hour. An hour? Yeah. And uh, we've got a pretty good mix, a lineup of uh, material we're going to be doing. Uh, we've got a CD for sale. We're going to be putting out our first, very first CD, and this mm -hmm. is going to be our opening debut for that. But the material we're going to be playing is about half of what's actually on the CD, and the rest of it's going to be uh, some new material, right. including Crustacean Nation. But you're doing all original stuff. It's all original material. No more covers. We're uh, going to go ahead and break all those songs off the shelf that we put up there a lot of years ago when we were doing the cover material, and yeah. we finally just said we're going to do it our way and go against the grain a little bit with what everybody else is doing. So. Here we go, and okay. uh, so far it looks like we've got a little bit of interest, and we thank everybody that's given us that. Okay. Oh, that's true. We uh, at 5:20 on Tuesday evening, we had the uh, privilege to have one of our songs played in the UK, in London. Yeah. And that was a real treat for us. Uh, they got in touch with us through our MySpace page and asked us ask us if they could put a couple of our songs on the radio and mm -hmm. let us know when it was going to be playing and uh, well we haven't played too much in our own backyard but it looks like we got to get on the radio and somebody else is uh, over there in London. Well excellent, well it won't be too much longer for you're going to be on the air here in, in Charles County. Well, we're really hoping and everybody here has been working real hard and I can't say enough about these guys, it's been a real pleasure working right. with them and okay. it's been really good. Alright great, well we're going to let you go. But a little bit later in the show, we're going to try and have the live version of Crustacean Nation for you. So don't go anywhere. We will be right back.
If you saw a little bit earlier, you saw a great rendition of the national anthem sung by Miss Marilyn Teen. And your name is Casey? My name is Casey Staniszewski. Okay, and I great. was so excited to be here. I, it's an honor to sing at the opening day. Now, so. where are you from? I'm from Waldorf, Maryland. Oh, so Waldorf. Right All right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Were you born and raised around here? Or? Um, I was born and raised in La Plata, Maryland. La Plata. So. That's only a couple of miles. Yep, I know. Well, I go great. to La Plata High School, and I'm a, a senior this year. I'm really excited to graduate. So. Wow. Well, I graduated from La Plata a long time ago, so I'll tell you that after <laughs> we go off the air. <laughs> so how's it feel to be Miss Teen, uh, Miss Marilyn Teen? Um, Oh, it's amazing. I'm going to be competing for Miss Teen USA um, wow. at the end of the summer, and it's in the Bahamas. So oh boy. I'm very excited. Now, how long does your reign last? Um, it's about a year. So I won my title in November, uh -huh. so I'll be giving it up in, in October, November. Okay, time. great. So uh, what other uh, appearances or so do you have after tonight? Um, well, actually, recently I just sang the national anthem at a deployment ceremony for Army soldiers going off to Iraq. Wow. So that was really an honor. I um, bet it was. I've had the opportunity to sing in Las Vegas the national anthem uh, at Planet Hollywood. And uh, I've just had so many um, opportunities from yeah. this title. It's really yeah. great. So if you win uh, Miss Teen USA, I guess you'll be traveling all over the world, yes. much less around Actually, the country. Yeah, Donald Trump is in charge of the Miss USA pageants. And um, part of the prize package, if you win Miss Teen USA or Miss USA or Miss Universe, um, you live in New York City for a year. Uh -huh. So I'll have an apartment there. and. Um, I get to go to the New York Film Academy, so I'm hoping I'm hoping I win. <laughs> Will you be going on his show as a contestant? Um, actually, I don't think the Teen USA pageant is going to be televised, unfortunately, uh, but it might be on a webcast yeah. channel. So well, that'd be good. I hope so, because we, you know, since you're yeah. local from around here, we don't like know. to like to watch you sit and you I do really, it. I really, I hope to make Maryland yeah. proud at Teen yeah. USA. Okay, so. great. Well, I'm sure you will. Yeah. All right, Casey, Thank thanks for so coming much. on the show. Thanks All right, right. we're going to take a break. We'll be right back.
welcome back to the show. And as always, we get the best talent on here just for this show. Now my next guest is Mr. Baseball, the only Mr. Baseball, Hall of Famer Brooks Robinson. Brooks, it's always good to have you back in Southern Maryland. Uh, listen, I've been down here a few times lately, but it's great to be here, and it's great to be here this time of the year and see what's happening. Yeah, here we are, opening night. The fans are streaming in. It's a beautiful night. You can't ask for anything better than this. No, you're right. This only be, a victory. Only a victory. That's right. Well, Butch, Hop, Butch Hobson's going to take care of that. And we there got go. Earl Weaver here. If the umpires give us any trouble, we'll stick Earl on him, you know. And, yeah, we got Earl here. We'll but, send uh, him out there and kick some dust off. Oh, it's on. a great night. But, uh, a lot of <laughs> opening night anywhere is, yeah. is wonderful. We'll see all the little leaguers here. And, of course, uh, this ballpark, uh, we're going to have a sellout tonight. And yeah. uh, we're happy with what happened in 208. That was really our initial year. And to come here this year, I think we're going to see a lot of people out here, even though the economy is not the best. Yeah. This is the best best buy in town, so I hope people come out and they're showing it tonight. The best buy for your buck, anywhere you, you want to go. Absolutely. Okay. Well, we're getting ready to start the opening ceremony, so I know you got a lot of hands to shake. Thank and, you. Uh, so we'll let you go, Brooks. Appreciate it. It's always good to see you. Nice to see you. All right, you, you take you. care. You bet. All right. All right, well, that's going to end it for this show. We'll see you next time on the Southern Maryland Blue Crab Spotlight. Head to the ballpark, got my gavel on my side, got my glove and ticket, and my blue crab pride. And all the mother ballparks, you know they just can't hide. But there's a nation, I'm through hardcore. Trust nation, nation. Every time we score Cross Nation Nation You're gonna hear us roar Northern Maryland Blue Crabs All summer night You know they play their hearts out My boys are out of sight We got a buddy pin Just to keep things light Good folks to me. I watch the blue crab magic. The other team get me. That's right. The station they shine. The fans will be a hard for. The station they shine. Every time we score. The station they shine. You're going to hear us roll. That's right. Y'all have a good time with the game.